Om Shibaham. I am starting the 14th discourse of this book, The Art of Living with Peacefulness and Happiness, Pleasant Life, which is written by the base of first stanza of Gita. We are talking about what the seekers do when he have no real guru in the life. The seeker must be such the real guru and love to the God, even he do not know the God. And remember this uh, stanza as I have told in my previous discourse, Madhu Lubdha Yatha Bhranga Pushpo Pushpantaram Prajet Jnana Lubdha Yatha Shishya Guru Guruvantaram Prajet If you do not find the real master, which can take you out from mind, intellect and the ego. You search the master continuously and leave the previous masters, which is not able to take you in the last destination. I remember a story. Once upon a time the sexually was going to the Delhi by the train. The time of the night he was little bit sleepy and he has the ticket of Delhi and by mistake he sit the wrong train which is going to the Bombay, Mumbai. And the train reached the other station and the shape chilly asked to the co-travelers where this train is going. The person tell that this train is going to Bombay. But Sheikh Chilli said, I want to go Delhi. What can he do? Because he was in the wrong train. You answer this question, what can he do? All of you know, he must be leave this train in the next station and get other train for Delhi. So this is the answer for the seekers. You should get out from that fake guru's circle and search a new guru that can be give you the real enlightenment or Atma Jnana. And next story I am telling to you. Once upon a time a Saint Chili by the mistake he, he sit in a bus which is going to the Delhi and certainly want to go Bombay and the bus conductor come to the Sechili and Sechili given the conductor 500 rupees and conductor give the ticket to Delhi. The bus is going Sechili close the eyes and sleep. And when in the Agra the bus reach, the conductor said to the passenger, if you want to take the tea or coffee or want to fresh, this is Agra. 
से चिल्ली बाज शाउटिंग वाट आर यू डूइंग आई एम गोइंग टू द बॉम्बे एंड यू आर यू आर टेकिंग टू मी दहली बस कंडक्टर से दिस बज बस इज गोइंग टू दहली बस से चिल्ली से आई हैव टू गो आई वॉन्ट टू गो बॉम्बे तो कंडक्टर से प्लीज लीव दिस बस एंड टेक द बस ऑफ दहली बॉम्बे सो कंडक्टर से है ना सो से चिल्ली से टू द कंडक्टर गिव मी माई मनी बैक कंडक्टर से नो आई विल नॉट गिव यू गिव यू मनी बैक बिकॉज यू ऑलरेडी ट्रेवल टू हंड्रेड माइल्स and you uh, you have uh, enjoy the half journey to so sek chilli se i will not leave this bus i will enjoy my money i will go to the delhi and that is the second type of the persons even they go the opposite direction from the god but they do not leave the fake gurus the second type of persons like that they say i have invest money i have invest time i have invest guru i make guru and i will not my leave my guru even the guru is taking them in the wrong direction so i again warn you if any guru giving you mantra for chant if any guru giving you reading any book if any guru involved in activities in the name of the religion or divinity like the yagna mantra tantra havana jap anything any activity except the awareness if any guru is giving you that is fake guru you leave that guru if you are real seeker and if you are not real seeker i don't say anything to you because nowadays they are you are sitting in the vehicles of the masters they are going in the wrong direction they are going into the sensory organ satisfaction or they are going into the your mind satisfaction they satisfy your mind as you want they provide you as you want you want wine they they are giving you the wine of the world you want to uh, enjoy they want enjoy with the music and dancing dancing system and many many things if you want sedation they give you sedations of the pranayama and forcefully pranayama that is strike in your brain and you feel some unconsciousness and you feel that is samadhi but that is not samadhi that is wrong the many many gurus in this in the india or the abroad abroad they are chanting the mantras with the disciples they are selling the the breeds at the uh, mala and not chief mala but they are selling the malas in the 1000 1000 rupees of cost rudraksha and others they are orating the ramayana and hanuman chalisas and they are beginning the billions dollar of the money and living luxury life but i am not jealous but i am only telling to you because i am also caught in the trap of this type of gurus i was trapped a guru that had the 36 countries their ashram and that guru giving the meditation camps by the satellite in 1985 i see very closely 
the propaganda that they get aware your kundali and they start the music themes and persons they are dance in the love oh, love of guru they are behaving like a musician magician or the players my dear friends i am asking asking one question to all seekers and all listeners if in india there are thousands of the gurus they have millions of the disciples i think the 80% population of india or 90% population of india they have some guru or spiritual person even hindu muslim sikh isai every community if the 90% of indians are so much divine and religious then why the crime corruption killings violence why the person so worst why you are living in unpleasant condition if your guru is real that your life must be changed why not you have feeling the peaceful life why not you are living in 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 awareness why are you not conquer your anger your greed your lust so it proof and many many peoples many many gurus they are coming on the tv channels also so it is proof because the fruit proof the tree the result proof your effort so the gurus proof their disciples if their disciples is okay so guru is okay so guru proof this disciples why this population of india as it is as 200 year before in internal side i say not 200 year before says it is but more worst when i was child and any one person take the bravery he feel insult and down his head in the street when he is walking but now a person who is taking the bravery of doing black marketing and doing wrong things he is going on the street with the pride and honest person going with the shy and guiltiness so that your gurus make this country like this you have thousand thousand of gurus they are teaching you on even on uh, uh, televisions and the lakhs lakhs of person they are listening the katha the story of holy story of god and no change of their life no change of their life they are as it is they are taking the bravery they are taking the bravery they are they are so sexy they are so greedy they are so angry all evils they have nothing is washed by the gurus nothing change in the mind of a person why because you are all doing is meaningless because all doing has no power of transformation so your gurus they are not gurus they are only the professional worker in the name of the religion so the person is not a yusava the person don't want to change himself the person is not seeker he want satisfy outside and he want satisfy artificially he don't want to real thing he don't want don't want to seek the real god he don't want to change even his life because 
the guru are not good so how can the disciple be good how can a right how can a wrong person can choose the right thing wrong person will choose the wrong thing so the yuyusuva is the right man the right seeker the person is palayam vadi but he want to escape from the reality he want to escape from the truth as a old want to escape from the light as a child want to escape from the doctor as the insect want to is go away from the heat so the person want to go away from the truth he want only show that he is religious so he goes in the temples he goes in the satsanga he goes to the fake gurus and fake gurus also knows fake gurus also knows why he is coming what for he is coming so they use they use that fake persons in the fake activities the person want to change outer climate the person want to change outer circumstances says the person want to fight in the outer level somebody saying hard word person want to fight that person and and do the clash and do the fighting and quarrel the person do not know the anger is coming from inside he don't not, don't fight inside with his own anger because the person is not seeing inside person is seeing outside person is supposing that he is only body person do not know that he is out of body out of some beyond body something else so because he do not know the internal level of consciousness so how can he fight inside of battle of this mahabharata the spiritual mahabharata my dear friend when a person is sleeping in his home and he is the, in the deep sleep how can save his money and goods from the thief because he is unconscious so person is unconscious chhodta na ek chor chhodta na ek chor tere piche panch chor माल लूट रहे तेरा करता नहीं है गौर माल लूट रहे तेरा करता नहीं है गौर तो ये जो आ सो दिस टाइप ऑफ द थीप्स कामा क्रोधा लोभा मोहा दे आर doing the thief theft in your internal home and you are sleeping unconsciously by the maya and you are wandering out of sight and the theft is going on inside of your room your home my dear friend which i am telling this is beyond your imagination because this is very very new subject because i am telling that as you living outside and as you living in the level of your mind you are sleepy you are sleeping outside in the day dreams and you are sleepy in the side in your thoughts your thoughts they are unstop making the thunders thunders and thunders and you are involved in the thunders you are flying like a leaf hard uh, dry leaf in the in the thoughts thunder or that very big stream of the, uh, your thoughts so you are completely unknown 
from your internal sight of the world, internal world, or you even you don't want to know because you have many many attraction outside and your body is very hungry to them attraction that and attractions nobody knows the ways of his the root of his illness or his pain on and sorrows there is inside nobody knows because the, you can see your physical body but you cannot see your micro body and I am telling all these things of micro body not physical body internal side your personality is decaying there is pus forming inside that pus is bad smelling and coming out by your thoughts, by your activity, by your crime, by your hungerness, by your greatness and many many things that that is the bad smelling of your pus inside but you want to suppress that smell and putting the sprays and scents and dios to show the other man that you are good, you are healthy you have no deformity, you have no decay, you have no bad smell. You have many wounds on your body, micro body. And sometimes they can expose, but you are hidden that wounds by a shawl. Or that shawl is named wrong, wrong, wrong. And you are in deep pain inside. You are in tension. You are in un, 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 uh, you are in unpleasantness. You are crying in the sorrow inside. But outside, you are giving the smile to others and showing that you are okay. <laughs> My dear friend. Who's you are making fool? You are f making fool yourself because you don't want to treat yourself from inside. And master want to treat yourself inside. Master is the good doctor. So the Gita says, Jnanam Param Aushitam. The knowledge of enlightenment is the supreme medicine of the life. A person always satisfied to do something. There was my friend in Jhabua. I was in Jhabua. He was very, very good shower of society and he was a uh, very good Karmakandi person. He awoke in early in the morning and when I was sleeping, he was awaking and he was go to the near bell and he was taking the bath and loudly speaking the mantras Om Mama Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Guru Om Guru Parma Guru Vishnu Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya telling like that my dear friend when the cool water will put on body so he want to say the mantra for deviate his mind from the cool water's coolness then after some time he come after the bath he come and and put two agarbattis and a lamp in, in front of Lakshmi because he was the worshipper of Lakshmi because he was the share market agent then he shift in the bomb into the Bombay and I uh, by the way I, I will go the Bombay also and the same thing 
he was doing. And in the morning, he went to the Mahalakshmi temple and pray there. And all the day, he do the cheatings with the clients because he was the share market broker. All the day. And uh, he put the tilakam and the mala I say to that person, what are you doing? You are doing wrong. You are worship in the morning to the God Lakshmi and you are cheating other persons all the day. So he told me answer, I was very image. He, te he tell me this is my dharma. This is my dharma. To cheat the persons. You can understand what type of dharma is famous in this world? The dacoit goes for the robbery and he pray to the Kali and sacrifice a god in, in front of Kali and goes to killing persons and snatching the money. A thief go for the theft and pray to the god. Nobody catch him. He successful come. After theft, I will surrender some sweet and some coconut in front of you. So this is dharma, is famous in our society. And the familiar of this dharma and the transporter of this dharma and teacher of this dharma, they are the same. So the real guru, real master is not respected from thousands of years. And so this society is so painful, so corrupt, so caught in the crime and so worst. There is no mercy, there is no love, there is no feelings to others' convenience. My dear friend, it is not to joke, be Yuyusava. Yuyusava means you must be like Arjuna. Yujusava, it means you are get ready to fight with your nerves. You get ready fight internal side. Yujusava is the internal fighter and the real seeker and he want to reach on the peak of the victory and that is called supreme enlightenment. So, you can fight from outer enemies very easily, but you cannot fight with your mind, intellect and mood and ego. It is not easy task. Because, as you can see, you can kill that, you can avoid that, you can separate from the sea, you outside things. But, invisible mind, Invisible intellect, invisible mood, invisible ego, how can you will fight? So you need master because master make your mind invis invisible to visible, your intellect invisible to visible, your mood invisible to visible, your ego invisible to visible by the Sakshi meditation of awareness. You know in the Ram and Ravana battle, the Ravana and Medhanada and Kumbhakarana, they are all master of magis magic. They can become invisible. Medhanada become invisible and put a rain of the weapons on the Ram's army. The Kumbhakarna it himself invisible and do the same thing and Ravan do the same thing. But Ram was enlightened master so he can fight this battle. Because the Sadguru without center of Sadguru 
you cannot conquer your mind, intellect and ego. They are invisible enemies. They will not seen by you and they will kill you. And they are killing you from many, many births. My dear friend, in your internal battle of the Mahabharata, the Kauravas are winner from many, many births. If you take the shelter of the Krishna in this birth, you can be the winner, you can the conquer these enemies of insight. Now, I am telling the meaning of the Kaurava. Kaurava, Kau means crow, Rava means sound. The crows, they are living inside of you in your consciousness. They are a malicious, malicious chaps and they are malicious pieces. They are the malicious consciousness pieces, unconsciousness. Not in the name of the fake consciousness, they are all called Kaurvas. They are making the noise kong, 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 and they are making the loud sound pollution inside of you and you are feeling unpleasant and you are feeling and lusting your wisdom where you go or where not you go because they are crying, they are making noise, they are unnecessarily giving you advice and you are confused, in, you are come in the dilemma and misunderstanding why this Korva's impression of millions of birth. You know, what is the nature of the crows? In the morning, the crows awake, they make a big noise, a big noise on the trees and they search the dead animal to eat. So in the internal crows, they search anything which can make you unhappy, which can make the bad smell in your life, they are searching the sensory organs, hungers, different types and different, different types of their availing of wrong things. And you know, if a crow see the dead animal, he cry, come, come, and come accumulate all the persons, or all the crows. Like that, if you see the eyes, any beautiful object, then he call the ear also. Then he call your feet also. Then you go near that object and try to eat that dead body. My dear friend, this unnecessary, unpleasant, unpeaceful sound of crow, crows of korvas, your internal status is completely, completely polluted. And your consciousness, your sound of soul, your melodious sound of your goodness that is suppressed. This is the Korvas. My dear friend, please, you have got a chance with a master in this birth. Please use this chance in the favor of enlightenment. Please awake your Arjun inside and Satchidananda Sadguru want to give you the support and the shelter of enlightenment. Your Krishna is baiting you, calling you, want to give you all the wisdom, all the treasure of his spirituality. Please come. The Krishna is calling you here. Why are you giving to the back to Krishna? Why are you going to opposite side of the Krishna? Krishna is continuous calling you, come my child, come my child, I am here for you. The many, many Sadgurus came on this earth 
and they call you but you do not hear. And very few persons they hear, they got enlightenment. So the person, they hear the Sadguru, they have the supreme desire of enlightenment. The desire of enlightenment is not desire. I am using this word desire, desire because English have no appropriate word. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm may be good word. If you have the enthusiasm to achieve the enlightenment by the help of Sadguru, please, minimum one time, hear the, hear the call of Sadguru. If you can hear the call of Sadguru, then you can be Yusava. Then you can be the Yusava. My dear friend, the Yusava word is a very, very loving word. Very, very deep word for the seeker. Yusava is the great seeker, is called Yusava. The seeker who want to fight with internal enemies, complete resulting and last fight, that is called Yusava. Yusava want to cross here and there, he want to Decide this, this battle, the last birth he want, this may be my last birth, I will not come again in the death and birth cycle, that is Yusava. Yusava, that person, he is puzzled from the fake and untrue things of the Maya. And he want to come out to, from this conspiracy and cheating of the Maya of this illusion of the Maya. He is completely puzzled with the internal terrorism. The internal terrorism of the mind, intellect and ego. He is completely puzzled and he want to come out and he want to be the safe from the terrorist type activities inside. Blasting the energy, blasting the chance compressing to doing wrong, compressing to push in lust, compressing to push in anger, compressing to push in many, many type of unwanted activities, that is the internal terrorism in every person, which is the blind. And a person want to conquer, a person want to come out, a person want to completely fed up from this internal terrorism, that is called Yujusava. That is called Yusava. Because you can see in the day to day life, you go for friendship with a particular person, and after some time, you make that person your enemy. What? Why this happen? You think that that person is a, uh, a QC? No, that is not a QC. Your internal terrorism is a QC. My dear friend, there was even one friend of me. He was named as sexually and he was falling in the love with a girl. That girl have eight brothers. Once upon a time he was broken his uh, her room and he was went in the his uh, her uh, girl's uh, sleeping room bedroom. And by the way, in that bedroom, his two brothers also sleeping. So by the slightly noise, the two brothers were, was awake and catch the shake, catch the shake chilly. And that girl is not accepted that shake chilly is his lover, her lover. So the all eight brothers came and beaten the shake chilly with the shoes rods, clapping and kicking. So the sexually was completely beaten and sexually become deep, a big dump. Dump you may no, cannot hear the sound. Sexually was so much beaten, he, he 
very fair in complexion he re, he was a, an, a good person engineer and be and he has good uh, a job also but after some time his marriage was fixed with a beautiful nice girl and good family and he hidden this weakness to his uh, family uh, the girls family members or even the girls girl his wife that he is he cannot be here anything once upon a time his father in law was ill and his wife went to the father in law's home and his wife slightly know that his husband has some prom some problem in ear Sexually, feel that is duty, that is the formality, that is very essential to go to his uh, father-in-law because father-in-law is equal to the father. And when the sexually, go to the his father-in-law's home, in the path he think think. I will what I will behave. I ha I cannot hear anything. Then how can we react with my father-in-law? So he think that uh, I will not give any chance to talk father-in-law. I I ask a question because uh, the sexually hidden that imp impossible thing, uh, the thing of hearing, and sexually in the path thinking I will. Ask some question. I I will take some formality there, and I will return. So my mistake cannot be exposed. Now, Sitchili was going in the path and thinking about this thing, and he think I will ask one question. First, that how are you feeling now? So the many days ago he was ill from many days and something some improvement must be there. So the father in law say I am better than tomorrow. So I will say oh oh that is very nice. That must be. And second thing I will ask to father in law. What are you eating? What are you taking in your food? The father in law will say, "I am taking that liquid food or dry anything, any food." He will say, "He will say, I am taking the dalia dal, anything, fruit juice, anything." He will say, <coughs> "I will not wait any answer. I will say suddenly, 'Oh, that is very very great food. You take this food, you will be healthy by this food.'" Then after I will ask to father-in-law, who doctor is treating you? Which is who is your doctor? So that father-in-law will naturally say, the doctor Junjunwala, doctor Rawat, doctor Anand, doctor anywhere, doctor Khode, doctor Parvadiya, doctor Khatpata. Any name he will say, then I will clap and say, oh, very good, very good. That is great doctor. That is great doctor. Very good, very good. that my my work will, will be finished and then i will take the food and come return my formality will be okay my wife so home person they will not identify that i am deep deep so she actually reached to the home of father in law as he reached the father in law's home 
the brother in laws welcome the sick chilli and say come 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 how are you so and so sick chilli make some sign oh okay, okay. make a sign and went to the room where the father father in law was laying and respect to the father father in law salute the father in law go to the father in law and ask how are you feeling my dear father in law to so father in law was very ill father in law say a sick chilli imagining the opposite say father in law father in law say my dear i am feeling very bad day to day i am feeling weakness and day to day i am i am thinking that my body is not working properly my organs is not working properly so the sick chilli say oh that is very good it must be a person was very amazed what is telling but they think okay it is okay he is the respected person he is the husband of our sister okay then the sechili ask next question the father in law was also amazed the father in law become said to hear the answer of sechili the sechili ask next question he ask to father in law what are you taking in the food what are you eating my dear father in law father in law was slighting in anger and he said nothing i can digest even i can not digest the fruit juice i cannot digest anything i vomit anything i eat now only i am i am only that taking stone is remaining i can i take the stones piece of the stones father in law was angry sexually was pre planned answer sexually oh very great very great that that is good food your for you that is good food for you now the surrounding person and the brother of the, his wife and uncles they are become very angry what is what is telling to our respected father now the sexually shoot the last question he ask who is your doctor dear father the father was very angry and the father said the all doctors are fail in my treatment only the yamaraja the god of the death is remaining to treat my myself to so sexually said oh very very good and that is a great doctor you will be Uh, free from all difficulties, uh, then you will be become okay. And now the limit of anger was broken of the family of his wife, and all start the beating sexually by the legs and the shoes and the restricts and others. Then sexually was again beaten very very badly. Now the now when he was wait waiting. then uh, the wife has came from inner side she was cooking the food and she tell all the persons don't beat this husband he is he is hidden me also but he is completely deep he cannot hear anything <laughs> so that is your story that is not sexually this story you do all things by hypothetically alternative so or the hypothetically result you are thinking you do this thing and you do you be this thing and you do this thing and you get this thing and your hypothetical imaginations they are completely fail in the spirituality because you are living by the mind intellect and mood and ego and the spirituality and there is nothing like that so if you hidden anything from the sadguru you are bigness of with the sadguru that you will be punished like sek chilli because your deafness of the ego that is the biggest deafness of the world even the deaf person can understand the sign of a master but 
The person who is deep by the ego cannot hear the master, even the master is telling loudly. Because the deepness of the ego shut your doors of your listening power, because you are not present there, your listener is not present there, your listener is wandering with the ego anywhere. That's why the master is calling to in every birth, but you are not listening to the masters. Your internal setup is completely covered by the network of the ego. So I am calling you again in this life for the great purity, the great divinity, the great spirituality, the great internal presence of consciousness, the personal and the very, very glorious The last stage of the liberation, I am calling you for the battle. Come and fight with internal enemies and conquer and be a emperor of internal consciousness and awareness. I am inviting you, I am calling you, but I want to take you from outside to inside because the battle of outside will not give you anything, but battle of insight will not give the supreme consciousness, awareness, internal peace, internal prosperity, internal divine wisdom that you can cross out of this all illusion of the Maya and you can come out from death and birth cycle. I am taking the shelter of the Gita only for your welfare. Please do not, do not underestimate the word of the Gita. This is the word of enlightened, highly enlightened Supreme Master Sadhguru Krishna. If you can understand only my these discourses, you can understand all the spirituality of the India or all the spirituality of the world. My dear friend, never be a confusion of understanding. Understanding comes from the intellect and this is coming from out of intellect, beyond of intellect. So the understand is not word appropriate. Avakan is word appropriate. Awareness is the word appropriate. And the knowing is word appropriate. So the Yuyusava is the great word. Yuyusava want to fight inside of battle. Yuyusava don't want to run away, don't want to come outside. Yuyusava want to stand inside. My dear friend, you will not get anything from the begging because if the beggars or the begging is good, the, all the beggars of this world become the emperor, but be, beggar cannot become the emperor. So be, you, you please do not become a, like a beggar. You conquer. You conquer inside, not beg to master, give me the peace, give me the wisdom, not beg. You conquer, but master will help you, but you should conquer. You become the self-fighter and self-enthusiastic person and you become a samurai. My dear friend, if you become the internal samurai, that you will get this emperor of empire of the spiritual highest peak of awareness. My dear friend, you can be, you can achieve, you can be a Atma Gyani, you can be a Paramhansa, you can be the, like Arjuna, you can be like the Janaka, you can be like Hanumana, you can be like a great masters of this world. My dear friend, 
there is no meaning of this world outer side if the meaning of outer side of this world so the buddha never leave his capital never leave his cap his treasure never leave his princess prince post if the this world is precious or meaningful that mahavir never leave his lot of treasure of his father is the if this world is precious then kavir never put the paras stone on the roof of his hut and he never used that paras stone which can make the iron into the god my dear friend you see the enlightened person's life and they never attacked for money they never attacked for world they never attacked for women they never attacked for homes they never attacked for ashrams they never attacked from the number of disciples even never so it proves this world is a fake this world is meaningless but internal awareness is only and only precious my dear friend if this world is important so raja bhartari will not kick out his all the kingness is this world is important the many many kings they do not do not go the forest and achieve this enlightenment in the shelter of the gurus and rishis if this all world treasure and all things are important so the vishwamitra never leave his king post and become the brahmarshi and our many many gurus vasishta vishwamitra parasar san vyasa atri and uh, dattatreya and the uh, lomash and the narada and many many gurus they never worshiped by the kings and kings put the his crown in the feet of the gurus so you can see the yuyusava is the great stage to be the emperor of the universes of this world universes millions of the universes and the treasure of the billions of the big diamonds cannot be attracted to the mind of a enlightened person so much treasure it is my dear friend don't we attracted by the worldly things and be careful to broke the chains of the worldly things and be the free soul and you have no need to go away you have no need to go in forest you have no need to give up your family you have no need to give up your job you are no need to give up your post or your anything in this world you can aware as it is you are standing if you are collector or if you are pun if you are minister of if you are sweeping the street there is no connection with the with your karmas every karma in every karma you can aware so you can get it achievement this achievement beyond all the world in living in the world you can get this freedom you can that get this peace <laughs> you can get this pleasure you can get this love supreme by only the meditation of awareness so i am teaching this raj vidya this science of the kings the spiritual science of the kings a person as it is standing anywhere any location any post any <coughs> circumstances if he will do this meditation he can get enlightenment he can know inside of the god 
but only that person will be win that will be become a fighter like Arjun. So that will be fighter like Yuyustava. This is the battle from unpleasantness to pleasantness. This is the battle from the pain and our so-called pleasures. Freedom from these contradictions. This is the battle from death and birth against the death and birth and free from the death and birth. This is the battles, this is the battle of save your consciousness by the pain of again birth and again death. This is the battle against the hate and come in an unbroken love, complete love. This is the battle of mortality to immortality. This is, this is the battle from the friction to the integration. Only a need one thing, you will become the Yujusava like Arjuna. Only the one thing is need, you have to faith and love with the Sadguru. Only one thing is need, you have surrender yourself in the hand of the Sadguru. This is the meaning of Yujusava. This is the internal battle, not outer battle. This internal battle will be become a festival, will be become a celebration. One by one your enemy will be killed by you and you will be set free by one by one foundation every day. Your every, every and every vritti, your every impression of millions of the birth will be eradicated, will be, will be washed out and uh, the millions of your impressions from the billions of your birth and death they will be washed out by the Sakshi meditation of awareness because the master has many many weapons the master has the fire weapons like atom bombs hydrogen bombs from inside, for inside battle the master has Pashupatastra, the master has Vajra, the master has the Nagastra, the master has the Trishul, the ma master has the Parijanastra, the master has the Parasramastra, the master has the Brahmastra that can save you. Because you are burning in the furnaces of the Kama, Krodha and Loba, the master send a weapon of Parijanastra. He will rain inside of you the nectar of the love and all warning will be stopped. You are caught in many, many strings. The master send the guru and that snakes will be go away. That is many, many uh, examples. So, my dear friend, those things which is Creating in, the, in, in your internal side, your antakarna, the mind, intellect, mood and ego. The all creator of disability, the all creator of your foundations, the all creator of your making you big, the master will destroy them. By only, if you come in the center of the master and do the meditation honestly. So your ego, your darkness, your illusion, your unknowing, your every type of negativity will be washed out by the real supreme practice of this meditation as I am teaching you. But only that, that it only and only need that you will become Yuyusava. Your ego will be eradicated and you will be used your intellect, your mind as an instrument and that then they will not conquer you, you will conquer them, you will use them. 
as a mad person having the knife and he cut his body as you cutting your body by your mind and intellect but when you will be aware when we you will be enlightened you use your knife for the purpose of chopping your vegetable and other your essential work not cutting yourself so my dear friend Master will make your life like a Eden garden, like a heaven garden. Now your life is become with the spiny shrubs, very painful spines. They are all everywhere spread in your life. My dear friend, Master won't cut all your evil things, all your negativity, all your pain-producing things by only. this awareness of meditation and your poisonous vegetation will be eradicated by the master and sweet trees and very good fruitful trees like the peace wisdom internal pleasantness awareness and very nice level of the real divine love master will be grow inside of you and your life will be free from the all crows they are making the crow 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 and making unpleasant inside they will all go away and there is no any shit of the bed what's they are all will be will be stay the swans and the perils and there will be all the wolves will go away because the sun rise inside of awareness and there will be all the vultures will go away because there will not presents any dead animals to eat by the vultures all the vasna all the bad desires all the bad instincts all the bad general innate tendencies all the bad impressions they will go away by the meditation they will wash away and you will become pure and pure so my dear friend the all negative negativity and all negative impressions and all negative habits they will one by one go away by this meditation my dear friend please save yourself by this type of crows vultures and the flesh eating attacking what's they are snatching your flesh by the name of the sensibility of outer sight outer stimulations my dear friend save yourself from the chandalas it means the very very dirty and worst person surrounding of you and save yourself the dirt and dust of inside from millions of years millions of birth save the great violence which is accumulating in accumulating inside of you save your self by the conspiracy of intellect save yourself by the great guilt and great greediness save yourself by the great angers which is spoiling your life save yourself by the very very worst lust which can we do anything bad because this is a very very cruel devil and demon antah karna your antah karna must be conquer by your internal enthusiasm and that card you saw my dear friend this is the end of this discourse about one word you just saw thank you very much love you very